my channel so today we are doing a haul because I have a major shopping problem that I don't want to quit so I have a couple things a lot of things I've already used because I was compiling this haul for a little while so please excuse that. The first thing I got is my brand new baby. It is the Anastasia Moon Child Highlighters. Oh, it is their brand new glow kit. It's actually not brand new. I think it came out at the beginning of July. However, I decided treat yourself. So if you did not know, Anastasia Beverly Hills released two brand new glow kits. It would be Moonchild and then Sweets is the other glow kit. And I decided on this one because I don't have any fun colored highlights and you can't really see this, but it comes with six. This is a new formulation that they're trying out with these. And I oh, am obsessed. I so far have used Blue Moon, Blue Ice, Pink Heart, um, but I haven't used Lucky Clover Star or Purple Horseshoe yet. And I'm so excited to try the purple one with a nice, like, smoky eye. Oh, it's to die for. Next place I visited was ColourPop. I was doing a lot of online bin shopping this month. So the first two things I purchased were brand new for me. I had never purchased from ColourPop before. So these, I was both excited about these and I have tried them both out and uh, Okay, so the first thing I purchased was Wisp, a Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlighter. Um, so when I purchased this on the website, it looked a lot less copper tone and much more champagne um so i don't know how i'm gonna use this i think i'll probably use it as an eyeshadow because it is a little bit dark to be using on my cheeks i know the struggles of being a fair girl but um it's just i don't think it's gonna work i don't think it's gonna work which really upsets me because i looked at swatches of it and it appeared to be like okay but it's too it's too gold it's too copper so um the formula is great um probably if i would have ordered a lighter color I, I would be much more happy with it but it's great for eight dollars the amount of product and the texture of them is beautiful other cheek item that i purchased from them was a bronzer because i'm running out of my laguna bronzer and i wanted to see if i could find another one that i liked because i like laguna but it's not something that i'm like holy grail religiously using um, and I purchased this in Skinny Dip. I think this is also another one of those things where I, I like the color of this. It's not that pigmented, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's not bad pigmentation, but it's not anything where if you're looking to pack a punch, this is not it. Um, I would say anybody who has a darker skin tone than like maybe three or four shades darker than me is not going to even be able to see this let alone use it to contour so um, I would save your money there but they do have darker shades if you are interested I just went with this one because it's a cool tone and I go for cool tone bronzers considering my neutral undertones um, and it, I like it but it's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to build up so that's I'm not super thrilled with that but you know I can make it work so the things that I am thrilled with are these right here I bought some two of their lippy sticks and two of their um, lip glosses. And I'm actually really, really, really happy with the lippy sticks. I actually already purchased another order of lippy sticks, so I'm excited about that. I got one in Cami and then one in She Bad. Um, both of these are from their Matte X collection. And then I purchased one ultra lip glossy lip in the color A Boo. Um, this is a very sheer formula. This kind of looks like my Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Butterscotch, um, which is one of my holy grail lip glosses. And then I got one of their metallic ultra glossy lips in tight fit and this is something way out of my comfort zone I would never ever wear anything this color. It looks very orange on camera um, And I am I'm really really excited about this. I haven't actually put it on my lips yet um, But I'm gonna put it swatch it for you guys and it's it looks it's gonna be interesting the next place I went to was Sephora so the first thing I purchased was a skincare item because I have been getting into skincare recently. I decided I'm rapidly approaching the age of 19 and two weeks, so I needed to be using a <laughs> under eye moisturizer or an under eye cream. So I purchased this one. It is the Rose Hydrating Eye Gel Cream from Fresh. I, how do I feel about this so far? I've used it for about a week and it's pretty good. So far I haven't noticed anything to do with my bags because I do have bags, yes, I know, I have bags at 19, but it's nice. 
hydrating, smells great, hasn't broken me out, so I can't complain too much about it. However, $40 for a cream that just hydrates is kind of like eh. Next thing I purchased is going to rapidly become one of my holy grails. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in the color 0.5. So I actually picked this up on a whim with a friend. We were at Sephora and she was like joking around. I didn't even know Anastasia sold concealers. And she was like, oh, I think this will actually match you, which and it was like a joke because it's so, um, light and I can never find a concealer that matches me and this is actually perfect for me um and it's so thick so creamy think even thicker than benefit of race paste okay it is thick, so a little goes a long way I like to take it out on a concealer brush brush it on an area or brush it on the back of my hand and then stipple it on next thing I purchased was the urban decay naked skin color correcting fluid in the pink color so I was looking at the peach color and um the peach color was really for darker skin tones um because you know if I put the peach color on no matter how many layers of foundation I cover it with it's still gonna be dark like you're still gonna be able to see it so I went with the pink color because I wanted to get something for under my eyes you know kind of a brightening and I have used this only once so far and I've liked it so far it hasn't really done anything super dramatic um, but it is nice on the brightening side then the last thing I bought from Sephora are definitely 100% holy grail items for me I'm never ever gonna go without these so I was in Sephora randomly on a whim and I was like um, you know, I'm just gonna try these and so I picked these up. These are the little tiny micro Sponges not from Beauty Blender. They're made by the Sephora brand and when I say if you don't own these You need to get them in your life. I am not kidding So it comes with four mini sponges you wet them under the water and you can use them to stipple in that concealer and it is Flawless. I use this one to put a little bit of highlight on. I use, oh, they're so good. When you wet them, they are the exact same texture as a beauty blender. It's not that knockoff, you know, the one that feels really hard to the touch. This is the exact same as a beauty blender. It is fantastic. I absolutely love them. I've been loving using them for my concealer. Uh, they're just amazing. They're $12 for four of them. So I felt like it was a really good deal rather than paying 20 for two of the beauty blender ones. And they're just awesome. They're amazing. I know a lot of people on the Sephora website were like, they're not worth it. They're so tiny. Do not try and use this on your whole face. It will never work. If you use this to spot conceal, if you use it to do a little bit of highlight or contour with them, they'll be perfect for that. Then the final place I went to was Lush. The first thing I purchased was the Smuggler Soul Facial Scrub. This stuff kind of smells like baby powder and I love it. Baby powder smells fantastic. So this is a facial scrub. It's super nice, super gentle. It's not anything that's gonna rip your skin up. I bought this and I really like it so far. It's really gentle. It's not, it's like small granules of sugar rather than, you know, like that sugar in the raw stuff where it's like chunks of sugar and you're like, oh wow, my skin just doesn't exist anymore. But this is nice, it smells good, hasn't broken me out, which is something that I look for. The final thing was this soap. This is Holy Grail soap. We're just finding out all the Holy Grails for me this month. Oh my gosh. Um, my skin was like freaking out this month. I did not know what to do. So I went to Lush and I bought this soap just on a whim. I just saw it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try that soap. It has like this oat stuff on those sides and when I was younger, when I would like have hives or when my body would like break out in rashes and stuff, my mom would put us in these oat baths um, and they would like really calm your skin because it balances out and it's it was like this milky oat bath. It didn't actually have milk in it, but it was oats. So I was like, you know, that may be good for my skin because, you know, oats really calm the skin. It has something to do with, uh, there's some kind of calamine or something, I don't remember, but it has oats in it and it smells decent. You. I kid you not, I've been using this for a week, but not this exact part, I cut it in half. And my skin is clear as day. Like it is so clear and I don't understand why. And it's it's something for sensitive skin. I don't even know what's in here. Maybe there's crack cocaine in here. Don't know, don't really care. As long as it makes my skin, it's vegan and it makes my skin okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little haul and I will see you back here later.